how to create and set up a PayPal account. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about PayPal and how you can create and set up an account for yourself in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, PayPal basically it provides you two accounts, a personal and a business account. And I'm going to be showing you the differences in both of them and what account works better for you depending on whatever you're looking to achieve. Okay, so to start things off, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to PayPal.com. Now in paypal.com, what you get is basically this website. Okay. And in this website, what's going to happen is you can pretty much go ahead and sign up in the easiest and most simplest way. Okay. All you're going to need is a phone number or an email. Okay. Now what we're going to do in my case is I'm going to go over to sign up. And once we come to sign up here, we have personal and business. Now the personal account that you create can give you authorities to shop online without sharing your payment info. You can access exclusive rewards and cash back and manage money, discover crypto and more. And then we have business. You can accept more forms of a payment so you don't miss a sale, easily integrate with the tools you use to run your business and sell securely with a brand customer trust. So if you have a business enterprise or maybe if you're a sole proprietor and you want to run an LLC, then a business plan is perfect for you. But I'm going to stay on the personal one and come to get started. Now it's going to ask me for my country. It's going to ask me for my region. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and add your country of living into this. And once you have added your country, you're going to go more ahead into the sign up portal. OK, and obviously personal is for the people who want a more personalized bank to just send, receive. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. That's all the personal people want. Then moving on, if you do want to get more into the business savvy stuff, then business would be perfect for you. Now, when you're setting up your account, it's going to ask you your first name, last name, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and set that up and it's going to ask you for your email address. OK, now for your email address, I would definitely suggest using a Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail. OK, use a proper email provider. Don't go with any business email that you have because, you know, in some cases, PayPal might not accept it. So we're going to add the email and then we're going to set things up with our password. So I'm going to enter the password right here. And once that is done, you're going to click on agree and create account. Now, once we click on agree and create account, what's going to happen over here is it's going to authorize everything and enter you through with the onboarding. All right. Now, once you have gone through with the onboarding entry, it will load you in. So just go ahead and wait with it. Shouldn't take you too long. And once the authorized entry has loaded in, it says confirm your email to help us prevent fraud. So basically it sends you an email verification, which shouldn't take too long. The general email should reach you. And here we have our PayPal verification code. So our code is 964826. So I'm going to add it right here, 964826. And once we've added that, we're going to go ahead and click on submit. And it says you're all set just a second. So it's just going to load you in from here to your general PayPal onboarding. It says activate your account to start using PayPal. We will guide you every step of the way. So you can either go ahead and activate your stuff right now or you can click on skip for now. And this will basically bring you to your PayPal dashboard. Now we have created our account, but nothing is set up. So let me show you how setting up basically goes on about. So to set things up, what you're going to do is you're going to come to start accepting payments. And once you click on that, basically, it's going to go ahead and ask you some information about you. So are you an individual, a company or a nonprofit? So let's say I'm going to go with an individual or a single owner of an LLC. Now, once you have done that, you're going to click on next. And once we click on next here, it's going to ask you the more recurring details that, you know, matches your government issue photo ID. So make sure everything is accurate to what your government issue ID has. So first of all, we're going to add our date of birth. OK, so you're going to add your month, you're going to add your day and you're going to add your year. Now, once you've added the correct information, you're going to add the address where you live at. OK, so. I'm going to add my address. And once we've added that here, it's going to ask you the SSN. So the IRS requires us to ask yeah. the people for the SSN where it helps us, uh, you know, get our account verified and prepare our 1099 form. So life's a little easier for you at a tax time. So just enter your SSN and, you know, don't worry about, you know, them checking your credit or anything. All should be normal. So just wait for it to load you in. 
And once you've you know, provided it proper information, it's going to verify things up and your Shopify or PayPal account is going to be set it up. So that is how easy and simple it is to set things up. Now, once you've set things up, you know, let's go ahead and delve into the features that PayPal actually provides you. So you have things like, you know, your PayPal balance up here. So this is basically where you can see how much balance you have in your PayPal account. OK, then you can move further down where you get insights. Now, this shows you the total money that has been received and the total money that has been sent or spent. OK, and the money in part includes sales of goods and services, money from friends and family and transfers from a lot of other accounts that, you know, you're probably working with. The money out is including payments made for goods and services, money sent to friends and family, transferred to other accounts and other payments. All right. So basically, that's what your balance sets up. Then you have features like setting up auto transfers, which is basically fund transfers one step ahead. OK, this basically allows you to pay your bills and transfer your funds pretty, you could say, economically and easily. OK, it's an automated transfer system that allows your money to go in and out pretty seamlessly. So it's a good feature to have. It's a good feature to activate and it's a good business tool to work around with your business. And speaking of business tools, you also have tools for your business like invoicing, requesting money, sending money, PayPal checkout, pay links, buttons and a whole lot more. Now, all of these features combined provide the best payment gateway that you can get for your business or even your personal being. So you know, let's say I want to, you know, get paid and I want to create an invoice for a client. So you can simply come here, click on create an invoice. Now, once you're creating your invoice, it should load you into this section where it's going to ask you a few things like who are you billing? So you're going to give the customer name and email. OK, here's the name and uh, you can add any email that you want. Once you do that, click on add and that saves the customer. Now it's going to ask what are they paying for so the customer that you're working with exactly what is the product that they're paying for so obviously you're going to add the relevant product and the relevant product name so let's say i'm going to keep 54 dollars as the price per unit and click on add and there we go now we have the recipient and we also have the product that they are pretty much paying for now once all of this is done you can see over here the invoice has been generated and you can send this out to the person who you want to get paid from. Now, the best part about generating an invoice on PayPal is that you can not only print it, but you can also go ahead and download the invoice as well. And once you have something like this downloaded, you can send it out to people easily and you can also add or remove the QR code. So if a person wants to, you know, directly just go ahead and get a quick transfer, they can pretty much do it by scanning the QR code. So that's the main general idea on how you can create and set up a PayPal account for yourself in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is going to be all from me and I'll be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.